Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we finished off Mercurio, went back to Ekaterina, and told her of his shenanigans. Um, and then she sent us to the Jewish Quarter to take care of this golem. Which we are having some trouble with. Um, actually I want to be Wilhelm. Uh, we'll do some celerity. Some feral claws. And let's go fuck him up. Oh, I completely forgot. And I can't skip this. We almost got him. First try. You're right there, Kristoff. Uh, I should probably heal, bro. Yeah, you could probably do another healing. All right. Kill the golem. Destroy the golem to terrorize the north quarter. Done. What did he drop? Not this is the cabalistic magic that quickened the golem. Okay, yeah. Bring the shem back to Mendel. Uh, bring the shem... Yeah, okay. So, I believe he was back here. Stand thy ground! You know, I just want to check something real quick. Uh, no. It was uh, suggested to me that instead of moving my mouse to turn left and right, I try Q and E. Q brings up the quest log. E puts me on the Stand defensive stance. Oh, an apparent. Oh, we got a first person mode. That's interesting. Oh, hi. Look at the moon. Look at the stars. Looks like we're in one of those planetariums. Okay. Um. Well, too bad. The demon is no more. The golem was no demon. It was, and we have sent it straight to hell. <laughs> the golem was animated by the life force, and his spirit now returns to Abraham's bosom. What? Blaspheming sorcerer? This monster of clay has no soul? I am no sorcerer. I am a Kabbalist. And all life is from God. Every man, animal, and creature. Even this golem. Even vampires such as thee. <gasps> he knows. Liar! Thou dost toy with my sanity! One such as I cannot be redeemed. I am an outcast from heaven. Not so. All life comes from one place, and to that place it must return. Why should God make such creatures? To vex mankind. They're all part of the kingdom of God, sent to test our faith, as the devil did test the simple faith of Job. How has thy faith endured, Crusader? Not well, for God hath abandoned my soul. The question is not whether God hath abandoned thee, selfish boy. It's whether thou wilt abandon God. Mendel's the voice God acting. Mwah. Just I perfect. Shall consider thy words. Nay, selfish boy. There is no magic in the Shem. It is merely letters. Letters which connect the golem to the true source of power. Nonetheless, the Cappadocians would be grateful to get such a thing. It would help them build golems for their own protection. The Shem is thine, with my blessings to do with as thou pleaseth. Just shove it in yourself and get a soul, uh, Christoph. Alright. 
Uh, wow, we got a lot of exp... Oh, no. We just earned 884. Uh... Okay. Let's... With the beast, oh, dread gaze, yeah. Which is to get 625, damn. Okay, I'm just gonna pump everything I have into decks. Yeah. And. You will also. <clears throat> okay, so what are we doing? Bring the Shem back uh, to Garanol. Outside Petron Hill Monastery. Okay, so I think that's where we were before. And actually, I'm going to save. Yeah. It's actually been a little while since I uh, since I played this game, um, so I'm having to relearn the. I mean, not controls since there aren't really many controls, many buttons, but the uh, mechanics I'm having to kind of relearn. Now that the Golem is dead, we must visit Joseph, leader of Clan Nosferatu. The Jewish quarter of Prague falls under his control, and our custom dictates that we tell him of the events. Be warned, the Nosferatu embrace curses them with transfiguration of face and body. They chose to live out of sight of the mortals and their fellow Canaanites, but they have wisdom beyond even that of the Bruja. But not wisdom enough to prevent this night's slaughter. Salutations from Ekaterina the Wise. Wise? Not wise enough to protect the mortals from Canite treachery. And neither was I. It has now been set right by the courage of the Promethean Bruja. Has it? Another quarter of Prague is now defenseless before the fiends who steal innocence in the night. Sons of Cain and sons of Abel alike are missing. But I am pleased thou hast stopped the golem. Send my greetings to thy mistress. Where do these many passages lead? Everywhere. Everywhere mortals live in Prague. There are secret entrances to even the most impregnable fortresses of the mortals. Most useful. Enter them not, stripling. Trespass, and I will peel thy pretty, unscarred face and wear it as a fair and tender mask. My tunnels are only for Nosferatu. Or those who pay the price. What price? Bring me a goblet of sweet blood from an elder canine of beautiful visage. Or venture not within my lair. Cool. Bring me a goblet of sweet... Yeah, okay. So, just a quick note. From my understanding of the Nosferatu, again, this is like the Dark Ages. It might be a little bit different. Um... I actually did a bit of research. I believe the version that I played is version three, uh, the third edition. So that's what I'm, uh, that's the lore I'm used to. The Nosferatu, they may be like hideous. They, they're actually supposed to be representations of, you know, Count Olaf, uh, of like the actual Nosferatu movie. Um, hideous and like appearance. But these guys are masters at like stealth and deception. Um, they have an ability called Obfuscate, where it actually turns them, like, invisible, like, fully invisible. Um, and in the modern world, these guys are actually, like, uh, generally, they're the tech geeks. There's, like, nothing they can't hack. They're, like, really, really smart. You know, 
beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but they got brains, man. They got talent. In the modern world, they're basically kind of like the... Generally, they're the gatekeepers to, like, secret knowledge. Or... I say secret knowledge, I mean more like... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Like stuff you can use to bribe people. They're the ones that know, like, people's dirty laundry. Their dirty secrets. So... I'm guessing I need... Okay, we already did that. I'm guessing we need to go back to Ekaterina and take some blood from her. She's the only other vampire that we know. Well, female vampire, anyway. And uh, Wilhelm can probably top up a little bit, too. Actually, let me heal as well. Man, that's so much healing for so little blood. I'm so glad I maxed that up. Uh, Wilhelm. Uh, what's the feed button? There we go. Who goes there? Man, we need to raise your feed. Oh, that should be good enough. No, wait! I didn't want to kill him. Fuck. I am weak with lack of precious blood. No, you're not. Willem is. Withdraw! Stand forth or face our sin. There we go. It's okay, you already grabbed him. That should be okay. Who goes there? No one. No one you would care about. Uh, let's do a little bit more healing. Yeah, that's good. And let's see if we can feed a little more. Hello, my lady. Would you like a hickey? Well... Okay. Let's forget this. Withdraw. Okay. Sorry, old man. Motherfucker. Stand forth or face our steel. Uh, oh, this is getting really annoying. No, no, no. I'm very sorry, guys. Uh, I guess we just need to make sure we got him in like a dark corner or something. He still had like <sighs> Jesus Christ. The hunger is there. upon me and I must feed. Where are you going? It's done. He's fed. He's good. Is that it? 
Uh, I was also told there's a basement. Is this an area? University Haven. Okay. This acts as like our base. Ah, there's the vault. Is there anything in his inventory? No. Guess we. Nah, we could probably use a torch. Probably get rid of that. Garnell's journal. Probably don't need that. Right? What was our quest? So we need to. To Garanol. It said Petron Hill Monastery. Okay. So, okay, I got confused. Um, I thought we had to take it to Mendel. I completely misread the Garanol thing. Regardless, let's speak to Katarina since we're here. Oh, madam. Thou hast not yet completed that. Okay, then. Garen all it is. Okay, Wilhelm, I swear to God. Okay, so where's Petron Hill again? the northern quarter. Is it here? No. So we have to go there and just head left. Okay. <clears throat> it was not through there. Uh, here? No, wait, wait, wait. I remember where to go. I remember. So I've actually started listening to uh, a podcast. Uh, called 25, it's something called the 25 Years of Vampire the Masquerade. And basically, um, it's, it's a, the podcast has been around for a very long time. So it's around, I think, 2015, and they come out monthly. Uh, actually, now they come out monthly. Back then, I don't remember what it was. I don't know what it was. Maybe weekly? But basically, they talk about all the different books and editions of Vampire, Werewolf, um, and all the different, um, y you know, the the different themes uh, of White Wolf, because you can play as a, you can basically play as anything really. A vamp there's a vampire, obviously. There's werewolf. There's mages. Uh, you can play as a ghost. Um, you can play as um, mummies. Whole bunch of different stuff, and each has their their own themes. Um, like vampire is all about basically being like. Um, the outcast, you know what I mean? The the rebel. Uh, while, like, if you're playing uh, the ghost side, Wraith, it's all about actually um, regret, living in living in the afterlife in, like, regret, like that kind of thing, right? So they're actually going through all the different editions, all the different books, and talking about it. Um, I've only been a few episodes in, but it's it's interesting. It's obviously not for everyone. There's a lot of history, a lot of lore, a lot of stuff that doesn't even make sense anymore because the lore does change from version to version. Because right now they're on v, uh, version five. I think it's just called V five, um, and apparently it's they're trying to take it more back to the vampire roots, but they completely butchered like the the lore, like the lore that you see in this game, even in Bloodlines, uh, which I will be playing is apparently completely different. Um, I don't even know what Bloodlines 2 is going to follow. If it's going to follow... If it's a direct sequel to Bloodlines, or if it's going to follow, like, the V5 
uh, lore. I have no idea. Nobody knows, uh, as far as I know. Hail Garanol, <laughs> Clan Cappadocian, master of the art of death. Hail to thee, servant of the wise Ekaterina of Clan Brugia. Be most welcome. And hail to thee, good Christoph, who vanquished the fiend in the mines. I make no claim of vengeance against thee for the destruction of my haven. Instead, I offer my thanks to thee and to thy clan for bringing to light the treachery of my venomous child Mercurio. I present this to thee as a gift from Ekaterina the Wise, sire of the Brugia. Ah, yes. This should be of some use. Some use indeed to protect us from the disorder of these times. Tell your mistress I am grateful and owe the noble Brugia a boon. We shall. I only wish this shem had not been purchased at so dear a price. I mourn the bloodshed in the Jewish quarter by the wicked Mercurio, and do reproach myself for his misdeeds. The good rabbi now journeys into the land of the dead, where hides all knowledge, and I am to blame. Prithee tell Ekaterina that I wish to serve her Promethean task and strive with her to bind up our uncertain future. In partial payment of the boon I owe, I offer thee my prized child, Serena. She will aid thee in thy efforts. I pray that my service will be of value to thee. I can tell you're very, very enthusiastic about this. Now, make haste to thy university and bestow my gratitude upon noble Ekaterina. I shall meet with her anon and plan the defense of Prague against the fiends. You do that. So, Serena, you, uh, got something more useful than a fucking kitchen knife? We'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll make something happen. So, I guess, return to rest in the haven, yeah. Don't mind us, fellas. Man, making like playing this just really makes me want to play Bloodlines. I, it's so much fun to play. The story is so good. It's just, it's just a great game. I have such fond memories of Bloodlines. All right. Thou hast not yet completed thy tasks. Go ye hence, Kristoff. Okay, when it said... When, thou art ready. when it said to rest, I thought it, like, literally meant... Okay. I thought it meant, like, to talk to Katarina. Fine, I won't bother you anymore. I'm demanding, man. Like, I did not summon you. Go rest. I understand thy sorrow, Kristoff. When Garanol embraced me, I was forced to leave behind all I loved in the mortal world. The loss of it still weighs upon my heart and drags me to despair. I offer thee any comfort I may give in thy grief. Any of I thank thee that I do not surrender my hope of reunion with Ineska, even though I am beyond all hope. Then thy Ineska is fortunate indeed. Though such barren hope might breed only more sorrow. Wow, even for for those times, she's like such a goth. And I shall rest. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll keep leveling my decks. Okay. We need to have 446 feral claws. We gotta raise your blood healing, man. 625? Fuck. I'll. We'll hold off. We'll hold off. Uh, what do you have? 
Oh my god, your stat. Jeez. I guess you're more of a mage. Heightened senses, aura perception, spirit touch. Determines properties of an item. That's useful, because I, uh, I have an item. I have a necklace. Fortitude. Shambling hordes. Awakens targeted dead to your aid. Bigger mortis. Takes control of a targeted dead creature. Summon soul calls forth a wraith to your aid. That's pretty cool. So heightened senses, eh. Aura perception, eh. And the other statistics of a targeted creature. Determines properties, yeah. Um, probably blood healing. You only have 50 anyway. Okay. I feel like blood healing should be like one of the first things we... Oh, I thought he would actually sleep in a coffin. Not on top of one. <laughs> Keep it in your pants, man. No. I am not surprised the little nun is missing. She is reckless. Dost thou know of her? No. Yes. We shall lie to thee no longer. Anezka came hither in search of thee. The gift of sight blazed in her eyes, revealing unto her that we are children of Cain. And yet she had no fear of us. Where is she? We told her thou wert not among us, and she left. What? She insisted on leaving this letter for thee, as if she somehow knew we had lied to her. I give it thee. Dearest Kristoff, I have not seen thee since the night thou fled the convent, and I fear thou hast been swallowed by the creatures that rule the night. But dread shall not rule my heart. I am resolved to renounce my holy orders and walk the face of the earth until I unite with thee. And if thou turneth thy face from me, I shall search for such panacea as will restore thy soul and bring the rose to thy fair cheek again. Thou hast captured my heart, and I can do naught but seek thee and make us both whole. Though our cause be lost, yet shall we both be found. Thy immortal love, Anezka. You know, as sweet and touching as this is, they've known each other, what, a day, two at the most? And they're like, <laughs> immortal love, like, oh my god, guys. Romeo and Juliet, this pair is not. Why didst thou not tell me? Welp, thou must leave her world behind. Thou hast doomed her. I could have persuaded her to stay in the safety of the convent. Nay, thou canst not control such as she. There was a mania that shone in her eye, a kind of madness. And yet her mind was sharp. As if her delirium had strengthened her mind rather than sapped it. She cray cray. In another time, I would have been moved to take such a one as my child. Nay, her soul must remain pure. Nay. We must find her and save her from the fiends. We must redeem her before my curse dooms her. As in my dream. The nun was not the only one missing. Many have been taken, mortal and vampire alike. We go in search of our Bruja allies, but we'll rescue as many of the others as we can, including thy mortal nun. Oh, so nice here. Therefore, we are resolved to entreat Prince Rudolf Brandel for assistance, even though he is of Clan Ventru. Racist. To make amends for withholding this letter from thee, we go tonight. Come. We know of these disappearances. Little happens in Prague yes. without our knowledge. How now? Oh my Hast God. thou discovered the culprit? Mm, we can direct thee aright. Should we feel so moved? I cannot imagine such a thing as can move thy lordship. Mm, we desire a reliquary containing the arm of St. George, which lieth in the antechamber of the Cathedral of St. Vitus. Alas, a ring of hallowed ground outside the cathedral doth repel. Canines. 
The sanctified ground extends not into the cathedral, but we cannot cross the outer gates. Then how may we cross the sanctified ring to enter the That cathedral? little lisp that he has. Tired of thee. Pray, do not return until thou hast the arm. Very well. We go. To the outer gates. Like, oh, fuck off, dude. Ugh. Okay, if we must, nay, to withhold such knowledge is wicked. We seek to save many, has the prince no pity, no humanity, that he only bestows his knowledge for a price. Uh... Yeah. We're, we're rebellious, right? Nay, to withhold such knowledge is wicked. We seek to save many. Has the prince no pity? No humanity that he only bestows his knowledge for a price. I warn thee, stripling. We have staked fledglings for a hundred years as punishment for little else than speaking in our presence. We allowed thy mistress to make thee, and we can unmake thee with a word. Pray forgive him. Christoph knows not. Silence. Because yon child Christoph did show bravery in the silver mines and may yet be useful to us, he shall yet retain his freedom, but only if he henceforth silences his impertinent bruja tongue. Oh. Oh. Leave the reliquary, enter Justice Tunnels in the Northern Quarter Cemetery, and retrieve the reliquary, reliquary for Prince Brandle. Uh, we tire of thee. Pray, do not return until thou hast the arm. How, how do I throw holy water at that motherfucker? How do I throw a torch at him? Fine, we'll go. Jeez. I'm tired of there. Okay, sorry. Where was I going? The northern quarter, Joseph's tunnels in the northern quarter. Okay. But we can't enter without the, the cup of blood. So wait, these guys are protecting... Y you know your prince is a vampire, right? Was the silver mines? Northern quarter. Okay, right, right, right. Sorry, guys. I'm usually not this bad. I guess my head's just not in the game today. <laughs> Keep forgetting shit. You don't say. I don't fucking say. Uh, 
Oh, Mendel. Mendel's gone. Ben Mendelssohn. Yeah, he's gone. He's normally right there. Man, I really wish there was like a a teleporter or fast travel or something. Joseph, do thy hidden tunnels allow vampires to enter the cathedral? Aye. My tunnels undermine this sanctified ring of protection. I have used the tunnels to enter the cathedral many times, and gorged myself upon the intoxicating Christian blood within. Then I shall bring thee the blood of a beautiful Cainite elder, and enter thy tunnels. Elder Cainite. Bring me a goblet of. Like, like seriously, I came all the way here just to grab the fucking quest. Why didn't you? Ugh. I'll be back, guys. I'm not gonna make you sit through me walking back and forth. All right, again, I'm assuming it's a Katarina we have to talk to. I don't know who else it could be. Are you kidding me? They're not... <laughs> Wilhelm, I swear to God. I'll be back, guys. We crave a goblet of thy precious blood, that we may enter the Nosferatu tunnels to pass into the cathedral. I do give thee a goblet of my blood, brave Kristoff. May the arm of a saint arm us with absent friends. Thank you. Letter from the Neskovs. Might as well put that in our fucking chest. Oh, yes. It is lovely. Most lovely. Thou mayest enter my halls. Go thou. However, I cannot guarantee a safe journey. You tell us this now? There's a tunnels one, which means there's probably three. Three levels. Alright, and I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Bit of a Bit of an anticlimactic episode. There's a lot of going back and forth. That's fine. Um, we basically, yeah, I just realized we had one fight, and it was with the golem. Good start. Good start to the to the episode. Anyways, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.